play about. It's about um, a friendship. Uh, it's a true story about a friendship uh, between me and a Pulitzer Prize winning war reporter who is um, haunted by you know, all kinds of traumas over a 30 year uh, career, but specifically by the what he believes is literally the ghost of a dead soldier that he photographed in 1993 in Mogadishu. Um, Staff Sergeant William David Cleveland, and as this war reporter Paul Watson was taking the picture, he heard a voice say to him, and he believes it was the voice of this dead soldier, the voice say, if you do this, I will own you forever. And that's the, um, the story that I heard uh, seven years ago on the radio on Fresh Air um, that uh, really haunted me, and it you know, changed my life in, in lots of ways as a writer, but just even uh, personally, in all kinds of ways that are still unfolding, it led me to um, to reach out to him. You know, he has 30,000 emails a day or whatever, most of which, if it's from a stranger, he just ignores. But for some reason, uh, he re replied to me, and it, it turned into about two and a half years of a, of a kind of strange but but um, rich uh, pen pal ship. You know, we just emailed each other. In theory, I was going to write something about him, but it took me a long time to feel... Um, uh, comfortable writing about this material. I, I hadn't been um, a political writer. I don't necessarily think this is a political play in the sense it doesn't really have a political agenda. It's a much more humanistic play and it's much more about uh, sort of embracing one's own ghosts and demons and traumas uh, and, and uh, embracing the traumas of others as a way to, to heal through storytelling and through theater. I, I would consider the play docudrama. I know in London they were billing it uh, as verbatim, which I think is probably exaggerating it somewhat, um, but it's close. I mean, everything in the play is derived very closely from either writing uh, of Paul's, writing that Paul and I uh, sent to each other in emails and that sort of thing, or, you know, I obsessively recorded all of our conversations and still do, so they're adapted from transcripts that I've taken of these um, interactions. You know, my definition of docudrama is that you're allowed a certain amount of, of adaptation. That may not be true for everybody, but it's, you know, I, I think of it um, as very close. In places where I feel like I've paraphrased or even invented a little bit, they're, they're, it's a very small percentage of the play. And I feel like it's true, those, those moments of invention or adaptation are true to the, um, to the meaning of the scene that really happened, if that makes sense, you know, that are true to, to my perception. Of, of the essence or meaning of those um, experiences, you know. So yeah, I would I would say docudrama.